All right, what's up YouTube? It's been a little bit, so I think I showed in the last video, um, after I got these new tires on the Bluebird, that on the driver's side here, we put the inner rim on the outside. So it needs to be painted so it's silver again. Um, so it should be pretty easy. I have here, I thought I, thought I had some more. This is Krylon aluminum. I was using a Rust-Oleum aluminum, but this stuff should work good. I think I've used it. First thing you want to do, and I've already done it, is you want to get your can of brake cleaner. And you want to spray all around the inside of the tire. The rim, actually. So you want to get it all cleaned up. And as you can see, I've wiped it down really good. Get all the dirt out of there, otherwise your paint's not going to stick. So, this has had pretty good time to dry. So I'm going to shake up our paint. Give a test shot make sure we got paint coming out and we're just going to paint the rim this stuff is actually really shiny my goodness Ugh, stinky though now i'm trying not to get too much on the actual tire but if you get a little bit on the tire it's not gonna hurt anything just make sure you don't get it on your spokes Because if you get it on your spokes, it ain't gonna look as good. You want black spokes and silver. So that looks a lot better. The fun part is getting the upper part. I'm trying my best. Hopefully the camera is getting it all. You can see all the metal flake flying. <laughs> Stinky. I'm just trying to get in between the spokes there. Hey, that looks pretty good. Looks really good. Nice and silver. I may have to go do the other side now. Shit. Let's go over to the other side and take a look. Did some painting on the other side too while we're at it. So I painted the... Uh, centerpiece here and you can see where the yellow the camera shows it pretty yellow but it's actually kind of a tan color compared to the original or to the good paint but as you can see there's no more nast on it anymore all right yeah let's get this guy this guy's a little rough looking too especially right there So I don't typically mask my rubber off on the tires just because if you're driving all the time, what's going to happen is your rubber is going to wear. So it doesn't really matter. It's pretty good. Let's see how our fronts look. Might as well do them too. We'll make everything look nice. <coughs> Jeez, you can see all this crap flying in the air. All the metal flake. Yeah, the fronts don't look too bad. We'll give them a quick shot. Now this side right here is wet. I believe it's this side. Yeah, it's wet because... Oh, maybe it's the other side. One of these sides has a leaky rear axle seal. Like the inside seal's bad. Maybe it's this side. I think it's this side. Ugh, look at all this mud here. Yeah, it's a little leaky. You can see it down there on the bottom. Ugh, look at all this loose stuff. Let's see if we can't get some of that crap up. I wish I had a I had something better to peel this up with. I'll get it all up and that won't look so bad. <sighs> yep, this is what I... I know some people like their Dayton rims nice and all black. I like the look of the silver. Yeah, you can see I'm getting a little bit on the rotor there. It'll be alright because once you get driving, it will... Uh, wear off. I do declare, I think this silver 
Krylon high heat paint actually looks better than the Rust-Oleum stuff I was using. This is shinier. It is way shinier. But anyway, so there's your video on how to do the uh, the silver on the Dayton rims. I really don't do that much, but it makes that rim look a lot nicer. So I suppose just for you guys, we'll uh, the Thomas hasn't. Uh, hasn't been started either in a couple of weeks so I uh, I do this weekend rotation shift at work once a month and uh, it it uh, it consumes two Saturdays of mine which really sucks but um, it, it definitely really really sucks um, but unfortunately, with times being tough at the company I work for, it's um, I'm just thankful to have a job. I can afford to play with my buses and do this stuff for you guys and for me. Um, so, but so it's been a few weeks. I just took the Bluebird out for a spin. She had some problems with her her starters acting up again. Um, I went and I cleaned the battery connections and I tightened the main wire on the starter and we'll see if that works but let's see how the Thomas does we have zero air yeah we have zero air pressure so we're gonna have to uh, um, listen to the buzzer for a little bit but here we go not bad I got my foot on the gas a little bit that's why it's idled up There she goes, idling though, but let's high idle her. Um, that way we can take Thomas around the block, or I can. There you go. I do have some new stuff coming for the Thomas soon. Um, you'll just have to wait and see. Um, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Um, I'll just tell you guys, so. I was doing a project with the marker lights um, up top. I was gonna put some, uh, make my own LED marker lights. Um, and it would have worked, but I, I had to make these little platforms to go inside to put the LEDs on. And it was just too much of a hassle. So I splurged and I bought Doran lights. And the Doran 9143 and 9144 lamps are the exact same as these Weldon 5000s. They look the same, uh, they're just LED, so. Because those LEDs in there are starting to wear out, not work as good, so. Yep, anyway, so there's your video, guys. Thanks for watching.